How does high pressure coolant work? Well, with low pressure coolant, there are lots of problems. High pressure coolant fixes three of those. Heat, chip damage, and poor lubrication of the cutting tool. The heat generated in cutting metal, much like your tea kettle, causes superheated steam to form. When water is dropped onto a hot skillet, it really doesn't touch it. Rather, it rides on a barrier steam because water is not a liquid at any temperature over 212 degrees. The only way to break that barrier is with force, and you need at least 1,000 PSI. The physics of metal cutting create much higher temperatures and as a result, low pressure coolant just can't penetrate to the tool tip. There is poor or no lubrication where you need it most. Chips fall back into the chip tool interface causing damage to the tool and workpiece. High pressure coolant eliminates these problems and gets the proper coolant force to the point where the chip is created. This force pressurizes the cutting zone, cooling the tool, allowing them to wear instead of fail from heat damage. With the heat reduced, this insert lasted 13 times longer. The cooler brittle chips break much more easily than those hot flexible chips. The secret of accomplishing this is through force. In order to create force though, you'll need two elements, mass and velocity. How much does it weigh and how fast is it moving? Scientifically, high pressure coolant is pretty simple. This force creates a localized pressure increase that eliminates the formation of vapor. But to be effective, the high pressure coolant has to actually hit the point where the chip is being formed with enough velocity to eliminate the vapor. Look at our President Greg Antone's dramatic explanation of this effect with a rifle and a shotgun. First he starts with the 12 gauge shotgun or the low pressure. As you can see, the impacts are all around the center of the target. If this is the point where we want to exert force, there's only three BBs that actually hit the target. There are hundreds of small penetrations, none of them had any effect if our intent is only to hit that red target. Now it's time for our rifle or high pressure coolant and as expected a dramatic difference. Every bit of the energy that was generated by that bullet went where it was supposed to go. And that's the same thing that must happen with properly aimed high pressure coolant. The coolant force also rapidly evacuates all chips from the point of cut to eliminate chip recutting. The result is much greater tool life and faster speeds and feeds.